Welcome to another cybersecurity video. So today I'm actually going to start doing something new on this channel. Uh, this is going to be the first video on reverse engineering binary applications and hopefully it's not going to be the last one too. So what we're actually going to do is to um, take a binary from uh, crackmes.1 which is one of the largest repositories if not the largest repositories of uh, uh, binary applications to be reversed. So they've been written with the purpose of being reversed. And uh, crackmes.1 uh, has uh, started actually a couple of months ago, but they have the database from crackmes.de, which was the largest repository of binaries, which I'm not sure for uh, what reason it has been closed. So uh, since uh, crackmes.de was closed, a couple of websites popped up with the same database uh, to probably ensure continuity of uh, this uh, thing. So uh, crackmes.1, aside of the, uh, the binaries that uh, were on uh, crackmes.de, they also have new binaries which are probably posted on a regular basis. So the one that we're actually going to do today is called lafargy2.exe and um, I'm also kind of new to reverse engineering so um, I guess probably one of the best ways to learn something is to try and teach it and hopefully you're gonna learn uh, something along the way from these tutorials or these video lessons. Um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna be very very simple. So this is one of the simplest from what I know uh, or one, one simple binary to be reversed and I'm actually gonna patch it not uh, so I'm not gonna fully reverse it there is a, there is a video made by uh, someone called JC and I'm gonna link to his uh, link to his video in the description and he goes into uh, into this uh, binary and he fully reverses it. So if we start uh, this is gonna ask for a username and a registry code and we somehow have to bypass this. So let's say the username Daniel and uh, the register code password 10. And if I hit on check it, it says, nope, that's not it, try again. Now let's make sure we remember this output. So I have to kind of uh, get the output for the success message. And that means uh, finding the registry or the registration code, um, the uh, correct registration code or um, I assume uh, the registration code is based on is based on the username but I'm not really sure we'll see so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna patch it um, and there are a couple of ways to do it I think I'm going to look only into two uh, but the for the complete walkthrough and for the fully reverse of this uh, I would actually invite you to watch JC's video which uh, is uh, he goes step by step into creating a key gen for this uh, for this lafargy 2exe so before we get started i'm going to make a couple of assumptions the first assumption is that you know uh, c programming language uh, because i guess it's quite important c c plus uh, plus all the flavors um, that's really important uh, to know in reverse engineering. I'm also going to assume that uh, you are familiar and you know to basic to you know the basics of Ollie debug and IDA Pro. Uh, today we're not going to work with IDA Pro, but we're probably going to do it in uh, subsequent lessons or uh, video demonstrations. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, simply reverse this in, in uh, Oli debug. So another assumption, so three assumptions, C programming, um, Oli debug, IDA Pro, and other debuggers that would be awesome if you know them. And um, you should also know some assembly language because I'm not going to go through the basics here. 
maybe in some other tutorials i don't know so let's uh, let's get this going because this is easy and we have to move forward to something uh, more difficult so we're gonna uh, start only debug and we're gonna drag our binary here okay so remember that string that i told you to remember it was nope that's not it so uh the pointer uh takes us to so the eip when we start the program extended instructions pointer is at this address over here and if we go a little bit down um there's something interesting over here so we say username must have at least four characters and um, we have here a, a, a str length which probably checks if the username we provided has um, has uh, at least four uh, four characters and we could look into the documentation for lstr length on msdnmicrosoft.com and for any other function for that matter. Um, so whenever you don't know something, uh, you have doubts of uh, uh, functions inside the, the assembly, check msdnmicrosoft.com for that specific function. Okay, so moving down a little bit more, um, It's not going to be as easy in uh, binaries that are that have a higher level of difficulty. So remember, uh, nope, that's not it. Try again. Uh, so this is where um, our error message. Uh, if this is where we receive the error message if our input is incorrect, and uh, a little bit uh, slightly above we have the success message good boy yep that's the right code go write a key gen um, so we we'd actually want to go to this one instead of going to this one so um, if we look slightly above we see here two strings string two and string one and one of them is probably our input, our password, our registration code input. Let's see which one it is. And for that, we'll set a breakpoint. Hit F2 to set a break breakpoint on this call. And then we're going to run the program. And it's going to pop up over here down below. And we'll say Daniel and the password 10. We'll click on check it, and when we click on check it, it's gonna reach the breakpoint and it's gonna stop here. So make sure you see that. Um, and also, it's gonna fill out either of string two or string one with our registration code, and the other one with the correct one. So we can click on check it, and as you can see, it stopped over here at our breakpoint and we see string one is our input and uh, string two is our uh, the correct one the correct res registration for the username that I provided because uh, my assumption is that if you provide a different username you get a different uh, different registration code I'm not sure um, but I don't know, maybe we'll get into that if we fully reverse this in, uh, and we actually build a key generator um, in subsequent tutorials. Okay, so let's write this one down. Let's say, uh, so click on it and control C, let's paste it in notepad. So this is our string. Okay. And I copied it to clipboard and we'll, um, we'll reset the only debug. Okay. And now I could execute Lafargy with the same username Daniel 
and control V for the password and click on check it. Yep, that's the right code. Go write a keygen. But let's say Daniel1 with the same registration code. Check it. Nope, that's not it. So the registration code is most likely based on the username, is built on the username. Anyhow, so that's one way to do it. Probably not the most efficient one. Um, but the second one, if we go back to the place we were, to the memory address over here, um, what uh, what I thought of doing when I did this uh, the first or the second time was to fill one of the instructions with knobs, no operations. So instead of like, for example, the first time I tried it, I, I thought, uh, why not fill this string compare with knobs so that it never executes. So instead of uh, comparing the strings, it would actually um, don't execute anything. So we'll have a knob, which means no operation. And let's do that. Obviously, it didn't work. So double click on it and say NOP, hit enter. And it filled it with a bunch of NOPs. And now if I execute the program, so click on run. And then Daniel, and let's say password 10, and check it. Nope, that's not it. Try again. So it actually didn't work. Uh, we're going to reset this one more time. And now we're going to look just a bit down below. So after it fills in with these, um, with these after it fills in the strings and it does the string compare, it the next operation is or EAX EAX. And the next one is jump not zero. So if this one, uh, if it will take the jump, it will take the jump. Uh, if EAX isn't um, the result of this operation is not zero, it will take the jump to 401 to the 4, which is over here. So it's going to take the jump straight into the error message. But if it doesn't take the jump, it's going to go straight into the uh, successful output. So uh, it was uh, then that I thought that why not fill this one with NOPs? So it actually does now uh, jump not zero. After this one executes, it doesn't really matter if or EAX, EAX, uh, because there is not going to be any jump. So it's simply going to go uh, to the next instruction without taking any jump. So we're going to say NLP and hit enter. And at this point, let's uh, let's run it. And now if we say Daniel and we say our password 10 or any other password or any other registration code for that matter and click on check it, it should um, it should give us the successful output. And it does. So it says, yep, that's the right code. Go write a key gen. And now at this point, we could simply uh, copy to executable all modifications, copy all. And then over here in the window that just popped up, we'll say save file and we'll say Lafarge to patched. OK, and save it. All right. And now we could simply just uh, so let me uh, let me close this. And at this point, we could just um, run this let's say daniel and now provide any other password we can say test yep that's the right code test two that's the right code so it never takes that jump we could say that this one is patched but 
that was the easy way to go through it so uh, maybe in future videos I'm gonna um, uh, try to go to fully reversing this binary if uh, no other binary uh, catches my attention um, before that but anyhow do make sure uh, to check the link in the description for JC's uh, popular fully uh, uh, video in which he fully reverses this uh, this binary and creates a key generator for it anyhow if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more reverse engineering videos please let me know in uh, the comment sections below i'm really looking forward to to your comments so throw them in um, other than that uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and also click the bell to get the notification when whenever i post something uh, so uh, thanks for watching hope to see you in the next one